Hi everyone, it's Miriam and welcome back to my channel for my very first Inktober 2018 video. I was actually planning on uploading this yesterday, I'm planning on kind of doing a video on Wednesday and a winter video on either Saturday or Sundays, but um, I didn't plan my time well yesterday, so, <laughs> so you get today and it includes Thursday's drawing as well as uh, Monday, Tuesday and Wednesdays. So Inktober days one to four in this video. Before I start talking about these drawings, I just quickly wanted to remind you that I have a clearance sale for 25% off everything in my online store. You can find the link in the description below. The sale ends in four days and it is also your last chance to grab any prints of 80% of my designs. I will be retiring a lot of my prints permanently once the sale is over. So if you want to grab any kind of painting or print from me, now is your chance. You can find the link in the description below and patrons get 30% off. Okay, so let's jump into talking about what I'm doing for Inktober 2018. So as far as, as my supplies go, I have decided to limit myself to red and black ink this year. I've decided to focus my practice on brush pens because I'm not very used to them and I love how they look when they're used properly. So I'd quite like to get a better grasp of them. And I have quite a few. Um, I'll be primarily using my Pentel Pocket brush pen and a couple Kuretake brushes and I'll be using my Pentel colour brush in red for all my red drawing. I will also be using some black India ink, especially when I want my backgrounds to be nice and dark, so a few of the pieces in this video you will see me do that. And I do have a white ink that I bought in Korea. Most of what is written on the tiny bottle of it is in Japanese, so I might be I'm quite incapable of telling you exactly what it is, but on the front it says Comic Super White, so <laughs> if that lets you know anything about it, um, that's, that's what I have as, in, as far as information goes about it. But it's a nice um, water-soluble white ink and it's quite opaque, so I'm going to be using it as sparingly as possible to fix any kind of major mistakes I do or to kind of correct tiny little details. I'm going to try and not use it too much because I, you know, ink at the part of the objective is to not <laughs> erase too much and to not be able to go back on yourself. So I'm not going to be using too much, but if I feel like anything is kind of ruining the whole aesthetic, I'm, I will allow myself to do some slight tweaks with that. So as far as themes, I have given myself a theme, but I made it very broad on purpose because I would like the theme to fit my concepts other than the other way around. I do feel quite constricted and quite um, uninspired when I have something that feels too restrictive. So my theme is entropy and I'm going for the lack of order or predictability um, and gradual decline into disorder and chaos definition. Uh, I think it's quite philosophical and can apply itself to the human mind quite well so I'm kind of going to look at this aspect of it and how how we can relate as human beings and individual to that kind of decline into chaos. Um, I'm going also for the kind of Greek, Greek etymology of it where N go means inside and trope means transformation. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of those but basically it's a uh, inner transformation is kind of what I'm getting um, from the etymology of the word, which I love. I mean, you know my work. <laughs> it's all about the human mind and our, our, how we deal with the world and how, how the, the, the cohabitation between chaos and darkness and beauty and awesomeness in the pure sense of the word. So this is kind of what I'm going to go for. I did mental health last year, as a lot of you may probably know, and to be honest it's just mental illnesses and mental health is just something that kind of fits my work really really well. I didn't want to kind of pick up that theme again just because it felt a bit too easy and it, it, it felt a little bit like reheated if I if I just went for that same theme again. But obviously my work is just along those lines anyway so I, I want to represent our struggles as human beings and our, our duality and our, our complexity so it's just going to be an inherent thing to everything everything I do so if any of those pieces kind of reflect something in you or speak to you I would love to hear it I would love to know um, how you interpret any of my work it's always wonderful to know that it speaks to other people it's um my work is is always something that 
is really interesting for me to reflect on once I've finished the piece because I always realize that it reflects something I was feeling at the time I came up with the concept. So for example, the piece that I'm currently doing here, I was having a quite a rough day and I was I was feeling really energized and excited by Inktober because I absolutely adore Inktober and I I love having to come up with concepts every day and I feel energized and for some reason I have I don't know, everything feels bubbly and um exciting, but at the same time I've, I'm feeling the pressure from last year. Last year went so well and I had such an amazing response from, from everyone that I'm terrified of disappointing anyone this year. And it's kind of freezing me up and making me second guess every decision I make. And the, the whole posting on the online is kind of freezing up my, my, not really my inspiration because I still have ideas, but it's freezing up my own judgment of myself and making me kind of second guess myself a lot. And, and it's it's been quite hard those first few days because I've had to learn to let go of what I think everyone else is expecting of me and just and just create because I want to create a specific piece and it's just a general thing that is good to practice anyway as an artist and uh, especially if you're an artist on social media it's just very good to practice taking a step back from what you think people expect of you and instead kind of find that pleasure in creating what you want to create and trusting that people will see that you're being genuine and you're, that they'll still feel your passion for what you're creating but it's very difficult when you've got something to live up to <laughs> because because I've got last year to live up to it's I find it very scary to kind of start it again this year but I'm sure as the month goes on I'll slowly become more comfortable and I, I mean I can see it in this piece anyway um I this piece was very representative of my fears I was worried because I, I wasn't very happy of the result of this piece initially I was like oh people are not gonna like it I'm gonna disappoint everyone with it and in the end the more I looked at it the more I personally liked it the less I wanted anyone else's judgment of it to affect my judgment of it and in the end I ended up because I ended up liking it myself I just felt comforted in that fact in the fact that I liked what I produced and it, whether people liked it or as much as last year didn't like it at all or liked it in its own way it was fine it was it was it was all okay and this piece somehow was quite representative of the process of being okay with producing work I loved even if I wasn't sure other people would like it if that makes any sense I did know that I would probably struggle, especially in the beginning of this year's Inktober, because I have last year looming over me, and also I've chosen a medium that I'm not very comfortable with, brush pens, I, don't, I just haven't used them very much, I'm not, I don't really know how to achieve the effects I want to with them. I like a lot of small intricate detail, and I find that more difficult to achieve with brush pens, so that's going to be a learning curve, but Inktober is about learning curves, so it's all good, and I think part of why I love Inktober so much is because it, it, it forces me to confront myself, it forces me to confront my motivation in creating the pieces I do and what I expect out of myself and it forces me to face the reality of what it's like to be an artist and do it for a living and having to produce work every day that and having an audience out, outside of me that's kind of expecting things out of me and it's um it's a it's a wake-up call and it's a learning curve and it's a really really beneficial exercise uh, as far as mental stability and um, and mental health goes for me, so it's a. Uh, I think this year is going to be really interesting, and I'm really quite excited about it. And this last piece that you see me do here is actually my favorite of the four I did. I I finally felt a little bit more comfortable that day, and I took it a bit more easily and. I kind of just went to my rhythm and didn't pressure myself for anything. Just painted what I kind of felt like painting it's not painting it's a drawing um <laughs> you know what i mean um and i'm really sad because i did all the the stripes on the tiger and i was getting really it was really enjoyable to draw them and then i turned around and my camera had turned itself off so <laughs> i didn't record any of me drawing the the actual stripes which is quite frustrating because i thought it was quite an enjoyable process to film <laughs> Uh, anyway, I hope you guys um, enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will enjoy this whole Inktober this year too. Um, it will probably be slightly different from uh, last year's because obviously it's not quite exactly the same thing, but it will be along the same lines and I will still be delving into the darkness of our human mind and feelings and emotions and as usual I would love to hear what you guys see in my work, how you relate to it, what it expresses in you. 
what you learn about yourself, if anything, when looking at my pieces, all that good stuff. So feel free to share in the comments if you have any kind of feelings towards the pieces I create this month. And by the way, if anyone's wondering, there will be a booklet of all my drawing of drawings of this month if I manage to finish the whole challenge. <laughs> um, and there will be prints available of each painting I'm doing it again of each drawing <laughs> once uh, my sale is over there are four days left on the sale so you should go check it out if you would like any prints of my old designs they will be retired permanently once the sale is over and I'll be updating my shop with a bunch of new stuff so that's that's me for now and um, I hope you enjoyed this video I hope your Inktober is going very well if you're doing it and I hope you're really well and I'll see you in a few days for my second set of drawings bye everyone